Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley preview, and it is pure fire. Hot Wheels Boulevard is hitting its stride for sure with this mix. I've got a blank slate here. I've got some background fun for you guys. Some of my favorite Boulevard cars from the old series and the new series. Koenigsegg, Porsche, I don't know. Skyline from the new uh, Hudson Hornet. I mean, Boulevard was all about variety. It hit its stride in 2013, then vanished and came back this year. We're in our third mix, and wow, is it hitting with a 5 4 fiver. We are going to go ahead and open these up. Mattel sent this set to me. It is time for me to open it up and show it to you. I know that it's been out. Uh, some countries have already gotten this. It's going to be out here in the United States very, very soon. I know that the first or the second mix with the Koenigs, it kind of hit during um, the, uh, the beginnings of COVID-19. So I think some of those are still hitting now and people are finding them. But you're going to be able to find these two. And holy cow is it loaded there is not a weak one in the bunch one new casting and a whole bunch of other really really cool models so we are going to get right to it i don't have to show you those other older boulevards because this thing is fantastic we're going to start from number 15 and work our way up to number 11 my guess is that number 11 is going to cause a lot of, uh, well, it's going to get a lot of attention. Let's just put it that way because it is, um, it's really, really cool. And it is based on a real car if you are not familiar with it. But there ain't no, uh, ain't no weak links in this one. We're going to start with the 1991 Mercedes-Benz G-Class. Now, let's start going to art. Uh, one thing about Boulevard, two things that separate it from car culture. One is there's no specific theme. They can just play off of, what is the theme? What is the overall theme? Like, uh... Cars that you might see pull into the Hot Wheels garage or the Hot Wheels designers and Hot Wheels employees might be driving themselves or would or wish they could drive. So you're going to see a wide variety. You're going to see the same artwork. You know, it's just cruising down the boulevard. Um, but um, yeah, you're going to see just a wide variety, whereas car culture has a different theme for each mix, right? So here is the back. Those are the five cars. This is that if you need it and or want it. I don't know what else to show you from an art perspective, so let's just get right to it. With the 1991 Mercedes-Benz G-Class, this what? Uh, this is one of those, uh, we'll call it Fast and Furious legacy models, right? This is why we love Fast and Furious, because even if you're not a fan of the movies, Hot Wheels has a budget for them. They want to do these models. They say, this is a car from Fast and Furious. The budget says, let's do it. And they know that these models, even outside of the Fast and Furious, sometimes with good deco, sometimes with not, without good deco, that they have a future. And this G-Wagon is definitely one of those. We've seen it in period correct. I think this would then be the third version of the G-Wagon. This one has the uh, roof on it or the canvas, uh, the canvas cover on it that's removable. And you can see that other than that, it's very, very plain. My guess is that this would be a Jimmy Lou car. This would be one that he would love to be driving down the boulevard, showing off, having us all of us ogle over it so that he can do that in Hot Wheels and we can all ogle over this one as we buy it at the store. That is the G-Wagon. Next one. Another fairly new casting, second version of the Volkswagen Baja Bug. This is number 14. They don't, uh, they kind of go uh, with a continuous run, obviously. There is the artwork. Continuous run of numbering is what I'm saying. So what did this, I can't remember the car culture mix, what it was called, but it was kind of an off-road one, right? It came with a bunch of trucks, Jeep Wagoneer, those sort of things. Uh, this one does not have, this one has the, um, does not have the roof piece, right? So the other one came with a roof piece that's kind of, I think, balanced on top or like kind of caught the uh, window pieces. You can see the windows has that little notch in it and then wrapped around to the bottom. This one goes without that equipment. And I'm glad it did because I love this kind of vintage um, striping on it that runs from the uh, fr from the side all the way around the top to the other side. And it looks really, really cool. Sometimes you sometimes folks talk about the printing quality. But you can see that this is, in order to do it the way they did it, where it uh, stays continuous through the whole model, that's why they do it the way they do it. That's why you'll see sometimes that kind of print look to it. But I've been told by the Hot Wheels team that they're working on improving the quality of those prints, but that allows them to do it in this price range. So I get it. All right. All right. See, 
They may not be able to do a full RTR car culture mix, but they can definitely do an RTR model. This is the Von Gittin Jr. logo RTR, and this is his Ford GT based on a real car, and this thing is just nuts. And this is why I love this stuff, because, like, look, this RTR style, Von Gittin Jr. style here on this car going just straight kind of a just a kind of not uh, what would you call it kind of a dark gray i wouldn't want it dull is the wrong word but it's kind of a dull gray but it really kind of showcases the model has such a cool look to it with the black rims obviously the styling on the rims too that they've uh, that they've added and this thing is just so cool such a cool look for the ford gt replicated by hot wheels and I just love this. This is the best version of the Ford GT so far, in my opinion, just because I love the detailing. I love that it's premium. Super Treasure Hunt was pretty cool from a few years ago, but this one, this one takes the cake and going full RTR here. You don't, if you're not familiar with RTR, then uh, go look it up. Look up Von Gittin Jr. Um, who we just, uh, Hot Wheels just did another one, right? There was the uh, 69 or the 70 Mustang Boss, which is his car as well. So you're getting the double dose uh, of the Ford GT and the uh, Mustang. One basic, one premium. All right, so from RTR back to Hot Wheels, you're going to see this. Now, what have we seen so far? We've seen the Bone Shaker. We've seen the 67 Camaro based on Hot Wheels cars. And then, oh, and then the Camaro, right? The and the um, Copo Camaro from the last mix. So every mix might include, um, in fact, this might be a good time to sneak, might include, I'll tell you this. I'm getting ahead of myself. Every mix is going to include a Hot Wheels garage car. When I say Hot Wheels garage, I mean cars that are replicates, replicas of actual cars in the, um, in the Hot Wheels garage, cars that the real cars that they've made. This 66 Pontiac GTO is one. The Copa Camaro is another one from the last mix, and then the 67 Camaro from the mix before that. The following mix will also have one. It is, a, um, let's just call it a Hot Wheels legend. One that's been around a very, very long time. I bet you guys can figure that out pretty quickly. And let me just tell you that this is a five for fiver. If you're not into the older Hot Wheels cars, then let's call that a four for fiver. But next mix is going to be insane, including two new castings. And one that is basically a redo of a casting that's already been out for a long time that a lot of collectors have been asking for. And so uh, there's the hint. And uh, you guys are going to dig it in a big way. All right, back to the 66 Pontiac GTO. There's your little fun little hint. There's the art. We don't need to look at the back. Let's just look at the model. This is a new casting. This is, did I say 66 Pontiac GTO? Uh, at first when I thought, I thought they had just uh, kind of modified the um, 60. Oh, wait a second. Check this out. You see something really weird about that one? Aren't you glad I didn't open it? Because this one is an error and has absolutely no interior. Did I tell you Mattel sent this mixer? So they sent me a case over. And this thing is totally empty on the inside. That one won't get opened. That's pretty cool. This one will. So 66 Pontiac GTO, I thought it was just a modification of the 67, but this is a belt from scratch casting. And one model that I think might be more comparison than the 67 is actually from Boulevard itself. It's this, it's the wagon, the custom wagon. What year was it? What year are they marking this one? It's a 66 GTO wagon as well. So, or 66 GTO. So you have the wagon from Boulevard in this red and black trim matching with wheels that look very similar, matching the new 66 Boulevard, and these two fit very, very well together. Now, I don't know if this uh, 66 wagon was based on the um, the Hot Wheels, because I can't remember when Hot Wheels did this actual GTO that you'll see at Legends and that sort of thing. Um, but I don't know if they were meant to be together, but they sure work together, obviously. And, um, I mean, this one may be based more on the wagon than it is on the 67, which looked very, very similar. So that's a cool one. Got a cool error, too. That was a bit of a surprise. I put it out there, and uh, glad I uh, didn't open it yet, because that's pretty nuts. In fact, yeah, no interior. It's got windows and everything else, but it doesn't have the interior. 
That's crazy. All right. That's the uh, 66 GTO from the uh, Hot Wheels Legends. So we've got RTR Hot Wheels Legends. We've got the first two. And now we have, how about this? Not only is it a 55, 55 Chevy Bel Air gasser, but is this the first collaboration with Hoonigan? I don't know. I think so. And what a way to do it. This is John Chase's car. John Chase is the creative director at Hoonigan. He found a big pile of rust and bolts in, I think, Riverside is the story of this gasser. And uh, he built it up and he's raced it. And he's, uh, there's, been, there's a ton of content on it um, over at Hoonigan's YouTube channel. And uh, it's pretty fun to watch. This is the Tri-5 by Fire by John Chase. He's restored it in the Hoonigan garage and Hot Wheels has replicated it. And this may be, oh man, how do you pick a favorite 55 gasser other than the fact like the candy striper and everything else, but this thing, like just in that patina style, this might be the most proper gasser. And even the designer of the gasser, Brendan Vitusky, the Hot Wheels gasser, has one in his garage that looks a lot like this. I think it just got painted. So I don't know exactly what style he's going for, but, um, that kind of old rusty look of the, of the gasser works here and the Tri-5 by Fire being replicated for Boulevard is just about the pinnacle of the 55 Beller gasser. Dare we say it's all downhill from here, considering how many have been done. I mean, of course I don't say that. There's going to be more gassers coming and there's going to be some amazing takes on them, I'm sure. But uh, this one is a fun one and I'm guessing it's going to be wildly popular. Now, it's been noted to me that there appears to be a variation on the um, on the grill. So I actually, because I said they sent me a case, so I got two of them. Um, you can see that there is a, there is kind of a, of these two. It's really hard to tell, but one is darker than the other. And is that can you kind of tell on the front grill? I would just say that's just kind of a result of the paint jobs that they get. But some people really get into that, so. You might want to start looking for a dark grill and a light grill and everything in between. Um, you might have some fun with that one. I went ahead and opened up the dark grill one because I think that is pretty cool. There you go. That is quite the mix. You tell me. I think it's a five for five. You guys tell me if you think it's the same. Going into that display, which I need to do the bigger display in the background, but I'll do. I'll, I'll go with this for now. I guess that's going to be replaced soon. But um, you guys tell me what you think. I think this is, like I said, pure fire. Best mix of Boulevard hitting its stride. The mix after this will uh, continue that stride to be sure. Hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek. Um, well, a little hint, I guess, of what is coming. You guys can try and figure out what it is. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of this mix. Thanks, everybody. Bye.